All right, y'all, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Spark and Zero updates. And today we have some interesting information to cover. So it looks like all 182 characters have been ranked stat-wise from best to worst. So I believe that's a culmination of their attack stat, defense stat, and key blast stat, along with, you know, their health potentially is what I'm assuming. And combining all those factors will give just a average of stats or the total of stats and then the ranking it based off of those total of stats, which is pretty good to see, right? We can kind of determine which characters may have an advantage over other characters. At the end of the day, it's a little obvious that the highest CP characters will be on this list, but I just wanted to talk about it. We'll look at the top 10 characters and the bottom 10 characters. And then one thing that I found that was actually a little funny, other people have recognized as well, but I want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Trance right here and Kadisaki YouTube. Uh, these are the reasons why we were able to find this, of course, along with Kelbert for running the Sparking Zero News account. But uh, if you want to look at this video that uh, the Trance made or the Sparking Zero actual doc, I'll go ahead and link those both in the description below. But again, let's take a look at, again, probably top 10 to 15, depending on the characters I find interesting. And we'll look at them in game as well. So, I mean, first and foremost on the list, we actually have Analaza. So, this is like a little bit of a surprise. I mean, him being a giant character, sure. He actually doesn't have that much attack. His attack is actually pretty low in regards to normal characters, of course. But he has pretty decently high defense at 983. So he's quite a tanky character compared to other characters. He has an above average key blast stat four health bars as well so that's kind of what we could expect from this guy again i don't think he's anything crazy i mean if you're in the like if someone in the comments below are like oh i am the number one like analaza player and he's broken you know what i'll trust you let me know sure but uh there's analaza right there next is the character that's probably a little more obvious at number two we have broly super super saiyan full power specifically and you know this guy pretty strong he has one of the highest attack sets in the game at 1427 he has a pretty under average defensive stat i would say like a lot of these characters are at least uh, around or above 100 defense but this guy's at 83 key blast stat at 420 uh four health bars and then he has a total of 1510 stats so just seven under uh the analaza in total but I think this guy's pretty good, right? I think he has some really interesting things to him. Next, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at number 3. He's literally one overall stat under Broly. He actually does have lower attack than Broly, but he has higher defense and key blasts. And I think that's where the difference is covered up. I'm sure many of you guys have used Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But we see here, yes, Wild Sense, power up to the very limits. Ultra Big Man Kamameha probably does tons of damage. I think that this guy is going to obviously as a high DP character, be one of the best characters in the game. You can kind of tell that. Next, we actually have a Great Ape Baby GT, which I believe, I'm not even sure how high up he is. He's actually right down here. Again, just another Great Ape character. Not really surprising. These characters end up having high-ish stats. So seeing them up here, sure, we'll definitely take it there. Um, not much really to say for him. Next is Z Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I think this guy obviously is going to be a higher ranked character he actually has the same level of defense as the full power broly he also has lower attack and you know a little bit of the same in terms of key so there it's, it's interesting because this guy's obviously just stronger but they both have the same overall stats besides that which i find Okay, you know, that makes sense. Sure, right? Um, in terms of their movesets, I mean, this guy has Explosive Wave. Kakara right there is actually a sparking mode up. So I would say that his techniques are better. Like his blast stock ones especially are just going to be better than what Broly Super does have. After that, we have the God of Destruction and his Angel. So we have... Uh, where's Beerus at? Where's this boy Beerus? There he is right here. Beerus right there, right at the top along with Whis, they're basically neck and neck. They have the same attack, same defense, same key blast, and same amount of health. They're literally the same in terms of their overall stats. Between the two, would probably say Whis might be a little better. I haven't used him just yet, but he does have the 
Ultra Instinct dodging in his back pocket, right? So that's interesting, like a new different mechanic that other characters don't have. But I would say Beerus has a really smooth combos and is just overall a fun character. So I could definitely see why someone could argue either or for these two characters, right? If you're gonna like tier rank them. Um, but again, this is mostly based off of their stats anyways. So just a little fun thing to look at. After that, we have Super Goku Ultra Instinct, right? So he is right over here. Again, wow, another high DB character, duh. Obviously he's very good. I'm sure everyone does know that. And then this is a surprising character that a lot, of, a lot of people might not actually guess, but we have Berserk Kale, which is a little down here, but Berserk Kale actually does have some of the higher stats in the game, ranked at number 10 overall. She has 1,175 attack, 83 defense, just like the other Broly's, and 390 key blasts. But in terms of her attack stats, she's actually higher than a majority of the game so she actually could end up potentially doing really solid damage with her combo attacks which is important to consider right because i think a lot of the moves they're going on will be melee and compared to a lot of these other dp characters right a lot of them are 10 and 9 she's actually only 7 so that could be something interesting she could be a lower ish cost dp character kind of rank but will do damage in comparison to those high DP characters, especially if you start off as just base form Kel. She will have, I, I would assume it's going to be a 5 DP cost, right? So again, quite interesting that Berserk Kel is that high. And especially because there's Super Saiyan 2 Kel, who I would assume is supposed to be stronger. But, you know, I, I guess Super Saiyan 2 Kel is actually not as strong as, you know, this Kel specifically, which... I mean, sure, right? I mean, let me actually bring up what does Super Saiyan 2 Kale look like in here, like in terms of her attack set? Is it that much difference? Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Actually, it's just Super Saiyan Kale, huh? Okay. Well, I thought it was Super Saiyan 2. My bad, y'all. Anyways, we'll continue on from there, right? For my little silly mistake. Uh, we'll do 11, and that is Corrupted Fusion Zamasu. Corrupted Fusion Zamasu. Looks like he's actually pretty decent in terms of his stats. Still over 1,000 attack. Hexa has a pretty decent defensive stat with 203 defense, 343 key blasts. So in terms of the one that stands out to me, I mean, his attack stat, yeah, but I think his defensive stat is higher than a lot of these characters for the most part. Um, at over 200, not many characters do reach that if you're not like some giant character or, you know, Beerus and Whis actually do have 374 which makes them pretty tanky i would assume compared to other characters they'll be able to live more attacks in general is what i assume that actually does stand for so that's pretty cool and yeah so i think that's all we'll cover we do have some other characters near this top range uh super saiyan blue vegeto over a thousand attack he has 178 defense 446 key blast right and that's kind of bringing everything together Blue Gogeta is actually a little lower than Blue Vegeta, though. You know, if you want to bring a little fusion kind of rivalry in there, Blue Gogeta actually has lower attack, but it looks like he actually does have... Um... Actually, no, it's the same for Blast and Defense. So just Blue Vegeta has just a higher attack set in general. I'm not sure the specific reason for that, but sure i guess <laughs> i i can't really tell you why or why not but that's just what the stats are right here and again i'll literally show you guys uh there's the wrong tab literally right here you see blue vegeto 1119 and then gogeta super at 934 and i think these are the characters that people will mostly care about we can see super saiyan vegeto and gogeta they're pretty much neck and neck here. This guy is just literally one attack. So maybe, maybe the devs are Vegito fans, man. I, who, maybe the devs are like, you know what? We we we're Vegito fans out here. That that could be the case. I I don't know. Now we'll take a look at the bottom characters right there, and there are characters that you would expect are at the bottom of the TP rankings. All the way at the lowest is Mr. Satan uh, with negative 2018 in terms of the attack, 440 in terms of, I believe that would be the defense, right? In terms of his key blast, he has 71, which is just his rocks that he throws, two health bars, 
and yeah, um, there's that. So, I mean, his stats are literally in the negatives. I mean, compared to other characters, he has the lowest attack stat by far. So, uh, there you go. There's also other characters down there. After him at 182 is Babidi. 181 is Chaozu. 180 is the Frieza Soldier. 179 is Yajirobe, right? Which, it's funny. Again, that's one thing where Yajirobe, again, he has some of the lowest stats. He's actually one of the more effective characters in the game due to his Sensu Bean. Um, and his actual, like, techniques, you know, you can see them. Um, they're pretty quick, but you can see that they don't do that much damage, right? So there's the balance in the game, I guess you could say. Um, but I just wanted to point out those few characters. Vidal was also down here and Master Roshi as well. So... There you go. Gogutin is also down here compared to a lot of these other characters. Vegeta Scouter actually at 164, huh? Okay. Interesting, but there you go. Again, if you want to look at everything in this list, feel free to go ahead and do so in the description below. There's actually one character I do want to bring up, and that is Fusion Zamasu. For no specific reason, like the normal Fusion Zamasu here, he actually has a zero defense stat. <laughs> he has 533 attack, which again is like probably close to their average attack. 380, no, uh, 375 T blast. He does have four health bars, but I mean, he has zero defense. Um, I mean, I will literally show you guys right here. He, he quite literally has zero defense. I don't know. They double checked that to be sure, and it's like, yeah, this guy actually has zero defense. I guess it's because he has the immortal body. Uh, I haven't actually used Fusion the Monster that much. It's probably because of that. And like, I assume he has some forms of healing. Let me know for sure if you know in the comment section below how much healing this guy could do. But um, <laughs> it's a little silly that he has no defense. I, it has to be because he like has a lot of healing with them potentially. Because it's not like his defensive stat is anything massively crazy. I mean... 375 is higher than a lot of different characters but like there's characters uh actually that's not even no no mind. his defense is literally zero right i don't know i mean, I mean his offense it's not anything crazy compared to other characters either way let me know what you guys think uh, about this list in general and again feel free to check it out in the description below what be the last thing i say thanks all for watching and i'll just catch you all in the next video peace out